After a dominant midterm election helping elect Joni Ernst to the Senate and Rod Blum to the 1st District House seat, Lynn County Republicans have forced one of their Central Committee Executive Officers to move aside. Treasurer Jim Conklin has temporarily stepped down as Treasurer. Jim Miller was elected to the position for now. CBS News reporter Kevin Barry is here now with what caused the shuffle. Scott Tiffany, it started when members of the Central Committee brought up a re recording errors and the potential misuse of Lynn County Republican Party funds. Jim Conklin eventually stepped aside as Treasurer. He did not resign until an audit takes place. All accounts say the November 18th meeting of the Lynn County Republican Central Committee started with Chairperson Cindy Golding reading out accusations against Treasurer Jim Conklin brought to her by committee members. They laid out how Conklin had made errors in recording the movement of the party's money. The record was, in some areas, inconsistent with other information. As chair, it's my responsibility to certify the accuracy of the records. I was just surprised by the information and that it was brought up in front of the body in this manner. One example of a mistake is on a DR2 disclosure summary from May of this year. It lists one check for $100 as written in error to Joel McGuire. Notes on the transaction say it should have been written from the Iowa Conservative Union account, and there was another check written to correct the mistake. In the November meeting, Conklin stepped aside. He did not resign, and an interim treasurer was named. Committee members tell us that the new treasurer is working with Conklin, conducting one audit while the Iowa Ethics and Campaign Disclosure Board is conducting another. The board couldn't be reached for comment. I'm just trying to work through the issues with uh, the chair who brought it up, and uh, I'm going to address each and uh, every one of the concerns that she has. I don't want to jump to any conclusions. I don't want to point any fingers or make any assumptions about what happened, why it happened, or anything. The facts are that there are some errors. Then the Ethics and Disclosure Board will review those errors and tell me where we go from there. It's unclear how much money could be involved in the mistakes, but lawyers at Shuttleworth and Ingersoll say the range of sanctions is broad, from a simple admonishment and warning to fines assessed to the party. Since the 2014 midterms just ended, the party is due to accept nominations and then hold a new election for its executive committee at the start of next year. At that point, it will be up to committee, met committee members to re-elect the whole board, including Chairperson Cindy Golding and Treasurer Jim Conklin. Kevin Barry, CBS2 News.